Okay, now we have got our web page sorted, our template sorted for our web page. We can start thinking about adding content and making sure that the links work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how the links will work and the easiest and simplest way to get those to work. Uh, so what we can do is if we go file, save as, and we save as and we give a different name. So I'm going to do about. That's what I called my first page. I have now got my about page. If I now do file, save as, and I call it Kodu, I go save. I have now got my Kodu page. If I go file, save as, and I write petition, I have now got my competition page. And all I've done on these is I've given them that part of the name. Okay? So I'll show you that again. You go on your template, you go file, save as, and you save the pages with those names. Um, just to show that works, I'm going to open, choose my file, I'm going to open the about page, and I'm going to create it in a new tab. Okay, and what that will give me is my template there, template HTML, and this one will be about. Okay, you will notice that it's kept the name template there. Don't worry about that at the moment. We'll, we'll talk about that a bit later. But here, it's got about. So I could write in this section, remember I'll need to change the color to white for this. I could write the words about. And you'll notice that it's automatically now starts jumping this way. Uh, there is a way to make sure that you drag it across. We said we couldn't do that before. And that is to make it a fixed width. So if I click in this section and I change the variable width here to fixed width, it will now allow me to drag these across, or at least it should do. Sometimes, as I've said, it does do some strange and funny things. So let's click down here. It's being a bit silly again. Right, it should allow me to drag those across. Sometimes you do have to play about with it a bit. Anyway, we've got our about page. So let's save, let's open. And this time we're going to open competition. And we will write in here competition again. Change the color of the writing. It's the first bit here. There we go. There's competition. And we will open the next one, which is coding. And again, we'll click here. We will change the color of the writing to white and we'll write the word coding. Like I said, it can be a bit frustrating because it's not like Word or Publisher or PowerPoint where you're dragging things in and moving things about. Um, what does happen sometimes is, is you have to play about and click the setting a couple of times to get something to work. Okay, let's see if I can. I change that to fixed width. If it will now allow me to drag. It's still not allowing me to drag. It's letting me drag up here. And there we go. It's letting me drag at the top and now I've moved it. Okay, so with this one the same, if I change it to yeah, fixed width, and we go back into here, it will allow me to drag this across, and now it's not working. You're just gonna have to play about with these and it's really frustrating that this actually happens. So let's click on that and we'll go fixed width, See if we can get this to drag across. This one's now not working. Okay, anyway, we've got our three pages. We've used our tabs at the top and we've written about competition and Kodu. I am now going to save them. I will need to save all of three of them one at a time. And now, if we preview them again, I've got about here. 
I click Kodo, it goes to my Kodo page. I click competition, it goes to my competition page. And you can see those up there. And all we did was we went onto here, we did file, save as, and then we changed it to the name that we had given these these links on these pages. So we've now got our complete web page in terms of it's all there and it all links. We now need to get our information in. Uh, so I'm going to start on the competition page. Okay, and it is simple as typing it in. So I could say the competition is all about creating your own games and submitting to the and award. Okay, and I now want an image in there as well. I want an image underneath. So if I go onto Google and I'm going to search for an image, so I'm going to put in um, games designer is here's a picture of um some younger actually quite quite like the quite like this one here so let's have this one it's only a little picture so I'm going to view that image and I've got a picture of a young games designer here so I'm going to save the image and we're going to go Order. Okay, remember, you can't copy and paste it because it links. It looks for that file. It's not um, it's the file, and you're looking for it. So I'm going to find my website folder again. Mine is hidden away. Uh, in example, I'm going to go to images, and I'm going to save it there. You can change the name if you want. You can give it keep the same name. It's up to you. I would generally change the name. I'm going to put games. BD for Young Games Designers Awards, so I remember what that image is of. Okay, so that's now saved it. So I can go to my image button, browse for my images, and now my Young Games Design Award image is there. I'm going to keep my alternate text empty. And here is my picture. When I click on a picture, I've got all these dots. So what I can do is I can drag it slightly bigger. If I wanted it a bit bigger, I could drag it bigger. If I wanted to use these buttons at the top, I could put it in the center. So I've now got my first page that says the competition is all about creating your own games and submitting them to BAFTA to win an award. And that's great. I've got an image in there. And we've kept the same style. So if I save that... I can preview, and it doesn't matter which page I'm on for previewing, I can preview that and I've got my first page. And again, if I still click to the other pages, all I need to do is on the, these other pages is change the content. And I've basically got a simple but straight, straightforward but complete website um, with three pages on it.